Yes, sir. You just found it. In a course with you. Let's chat. I want to have intercourse with you. Uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relations. Intercourse with you, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, great, that sounds good. All right, sounds all right, good. yeah, groovy, yeah. groovy. Now, uh, is there a shorter word for intercourse? Intercourse with you, uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relations. Intercourse with you, <laughs> Welcome to the Intercourse Show. I am your host, Mr. B. Today I'm joined by the beautiful Amber Giselle. Say what's up to the people. How y'all doing out there, people? All right. So today we will be discussing a brand new topic, and that topic is uncomfortable truths. Too many times people have these things that they just can't tell their partner. It's the part where the young lady comes to you and she says, babe, do I look fat in this dress? Now, if you were the man who's put in that predicament and she does, you can't tell her that uncomfortable truth. So what we do is we wrestle with ourselves based on the fact that we don't want to hurt our person's feelings. We don't want to make them feel inadequate. So there's certain things we just don't reveal. We don't reveal, yeah, you you do kind of look a little something in that dress. Like it's not the most, you know. Flattering. Flattering dress for you to wear. But there is also uncomfortable truths like if you just don't get large enough to please her. Right. That's an uncomfortable truth. How does she break to you? The man she loves, the person she cares about. And you trying your hardest. You trying your hardest. You pumping. You got your mean face on. You think you're doing something. And the whole time she's thinking about what she 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 gonna have for lunch tomorrow. That's, that's tough. That's tough. That's an uncomfortable truth. Right. There's a lot of things that's uncomfortable mm-hmm. for us to discuss. Like mm-hmm. when the love is gone. Is that an uncomfortable truth to have or. Yeah. When the sex, uh, you know, is is not to your standards and you want to maybe spice things up a little bit. Is that an uncomfortable truth? Yes. Right. Or when your person is maybe not really for you, but you've been dealing with them and you know that maybe it's not going to go that far but you don't want to break nobody's heart. Is that an uncomfortable truth? There is a wide range of uncomfortable truths that we need to discuss. And we will start to have that discussion today. So without any further ado, let's discuss the uncomfortable truths. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what do you think on that topic? What are some uncomfortable truths that are common from a woman's standpoint that she may not want to reveal to a man? Oh, definitely about the growing and not pleasing her. You know, women have to be taught to speak up during the act. Um, The last thing you want to do is offend a man in that regard. Why? Because that's his manhood right there, right? So initially, you're not going to say anything, but when you're a grown woman, you're going to say something. But the problem is that is you it usually doesn't come out nicely it usually comes out very rude really yes it comes out rude why yeah it comes out out rude rude? well let's use the scenario that you that you presented with the being a couple Mm -hmm. the couple you know obviously she is with him and she understands what he's working with versus what he's not working with (laughs) and so she's decided to settle for that and she said settle for that. And it's uncomfortable and it's an uncomfortable truth. She's settling for his la- lackluster performances. Oh my god. But she loves him. So he may have other things that she loves besides that that keeps her around. If she wants you know maybe it's not that important to her. Maybe it's not that important to her. But she really should if she wants to enjoy she should say listen. You're going to have to hit the foreplay department That's a when that lot longer. Happens, right? Yeah. And he can read a book and learn how to do that. Oh, my God. 
or go on YouTube. You can learn everything on YouTube. Or Google it. So <laughs> <laughs> she, there's no reason that anyone should be uncomfortable or not be being pleasured properly by their partner. There's other things that can be done, but you have to have the conversation. You have to have the uncomfortable truth conversation in order to even get that far. So I'll, I'm going to give you a fake scenario and tell me what you say. So say we're the couple and the female's having her like luster performance, you know, in bed and she wants to spice it up. So they have the, they have the conversation and she says, and he, and he gives her, you know, permission to bring ideas about spicing things up. And she goes, well, I think that I would like it if you let me tie you up. <laughs> okay. How would you, how would you respond to that? How would I respond to a woman asking me if she wants to tie me up in the bed? Well, it's, it's after the lackluster performance and the uncomfortable truth conversation. And she says she wants to tie you up. Yeah. Cause that, that'll help her get where she's going since his performance is, since the performance is not you together. You have to walk me through what you mean by that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't follow. <laughs> so if the man's not hitting it right. Okay. Yes. And she suggests that she should tie him up. Right. So they had the uncomfortable truth conversation. Uh -huh. And he gave her permission to spice things up by bringing ideas in. Okay. So she's presenting. She wants to tie the man up. How would you handle that? <sighs> For the record, I've never been in that situation. So, uh, I wouldn't really know how to handle that situation, but um, I think for any man, that would be a humbling thing. That's the point that I was going trying to make. You hit the nail on the head. I okay. think with that conversation, well, it, he's it depends, not right? going to know how to take it. It depends. No? No. I don't think any man can handle a woman saying, listen, you're not even hitting the backboard, babe. And oh, shit. Um, <laughs> That's so we have to work on this. I'm not, you know, satisfied. I don't think most men would handle that well. I think most men would just leave the woman alone. I don't think that's something they can handle. Really? Yeah. I think women can handle a lot more uncomfortable truths than men. Really? Yeah. Give me an example. I'll tell you. All right. Let's go down this path. All right. Now, is the reason why a man cheat an uncomfortable truth that women can handle? Mm. <laughs> when it starts with a heavy breathing, mm, folks. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so... The man is presenting that that's what he wants to do, or he's no, I mean, like, enlightened, enlightening that's her. Truth, on, right? Don't a lot of women want to know why would a man step out of the relationship? They want to know why. Yes, they do want to know. Why, uh, right? Yes, and most of the time, that's an uncomfortable truth. Right. But you know, I think it's very, very interesting how there are times where women say they want the truth. Mm -hmm. But what truth do they want? The truth that sounds good to them or the real truth, the hurtful truth? See, what happens is when you get, when you, most of the time women know what's going on. What does that mean? But the fact that they don't know for sure, they like to live in <laughs> that area where you know, but you don't know. Mm -hmm. So you can pretend to, you know, you can pretend to move as though you don't know He's stepping out. Mm -hmm. And the moment you find out, now you're responsible. You are made to feel the more uncomfortable and, you know, the insecurity flows out and, you know, the emotions and all of those things. I think when it comes to women taking that kind of truth, it's that's why they choose to leave most of the time because it's an emotional thing that happens and I do agree that some women say that they want the truth but really can't handle it but I don't think leaving is her not being able to handle it I think that's her making a decision based off what she found out 
you know, handle it in your opinion means she knows what's going on and she chooses to stay. Is is that what you mean by handling it? No, like I think sometimes you're in a situation when you're dealing with somebody and you know, maybe the spark is gone, maybe their interest, um, you know, their sexual appetite is not, you know, matching yours. Mm-hmm. And so when that's the case, what do you do? Do you go and tell the person that uncomfortable truth? Like I am not fulfilled in our sex life. Yes. And so therefore, um, I would like to go have my own experiences elsewhere. I think that's kind of extreme if you haven't even worked on it with your partner. What do you mean? Can, okay, let, let perfect yeah. perfect segue. Mm-hmm. Can a person who is not good in bed because they're not well endowed or not, you know, they just don't have those natural attributes that you would expect? Can they fix that? Is that a fixable thing? Or can you learn to love that? Like, can can somebody fix something that, you know, maybe they just wasn't gifted in that way? I think I'm going to be honest with you. I think people can fix it. Do they want to? Probably not. I think a lot of people, their ego gets in the way. Mm-hmm. And so instead of trying at fixing the problem, they give up. And just say they can't do it versus Mm. actually trying. We know the grass is greener where you water it. So being not being well endowed, you can still please a woman. Okay. And if she's with you, she knew you won't well endowed when she got with you. So that's not new. Isn't that one of the biggest complaints that women have? Isn't that one of the reasons that women cheat? I don't think so. What? So you're telling me there aren't some women out there who have everything they want in a man. Mm -hmm. He is charming. Mm -hmm. He is pleasant. He handles his business. He Mm -hmm. secures you. But he's just not hitting the bottom. And when he's not hitting the bottom and Tyrone comes around and Tyrone got some things to say and he got a little bit of a bad boy image. And you hear that Tyrone be bringing that thunder. Well, actually... To be perfectly honest with you, you don't get curious. Women, no, women of higher standard, you mm-hmm. know, feminine women, women of luxury, they don't want a man like Tyrone. They don't want a man with equipment like Tyrone. Why is that? Because their reproductive health comes before mm-hmm. all of that. So I promise you, there is a lot more women who will put up with the man that's less endowed than they'll put up with the man that's a Tyrone. And Tyrone sounds like he knocks off pH balances. So we, we're not going to mess with Tyrone. All right. So I'm going to ask a question. Mm-hmm. Why is it? Okay. No, let's, let's start it this way. Okay. Do women act crazy for dudes that's not hitting it right? Or do they tend to act crazy for dudes that is hitting it right? They tend to act crazy for dudes that are. Okay. So. Emotionally immature women, though. I both. have to say no, that. No, I'd say both. Really? I tell on both sides. Typically, when a man like hits the bottom, mm-hmm. it's a it's a thing. Did you see the video where the lady said, the lady "Don't let him hit the bottom"? What was that? What? Ladies, don't let him you hit know, the I'm bottom. I'm about to pull that up. Don't what was let the, him what was the hit name of that the bottom. Again? I cannot remember. Woman, woman. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull it up. I, I can't remember, Sands. but she made a good point. She did make a good point. And the thing is, though, I think. You shouldn't let them hit the bottom if y'all are not in a relationship and y'all aren't together. I think that's the problem. Guys are out here. I had a male friend tell me that he can't give a woman his full performance because he's afraid that she's going to act crazy. So he gives her a 50% performance. He gives women 50% performance. And so my question was, well, how do you gauge whether or not she can handle a a full performance versus a 50% performance? Oh, he found the clip. Is the clip? Should I pull it up? You can pull it up. How long is the clip? Uh, it's a few minutes, about nine minutes. We could play a little bit of it, but we'll yeah, we see. We can play a little bit of it. We'll see. She let said, "Don't let here. him hit that bottom." <laughs> she did say that. She? she straight said that. I said, "All." Oh.
because what drives a woman to toys? Because, like I said, she needs the vagina penetration. A lot of women are hooked on having clitoral stimulations. You have an outer orgasm with your clitoris, but also you have inner orgasms inside the intra-vagina, inside the vagina walls, hidden G-spots. And every woman's G-spot may be similar, or some women may have more than one G-spot. So some women are actually hooked on coming. I mean, it's women that can be at work at their desk. They got the jackrabbit on. They said, well, it's a part you can buy hooking onto your clitoris all throughout the day. And you could be having orgasm. Jackrabbit. That one of them I know they call, I, I, I knew some girls, that was their favorite partner. That was their favorite best buddy to keep in their pocketbook. But see, I go back to when I was a little girl being raised in the country. Jack Rabbit, jump from yeah, here to there. Yeah, we talking about the rabbits jack, out. Jack. They no, I ain't talking it. about no real rabbit. Jump. But a rabbit in nature, jump from here to there, just constantly moving. Yes, and they say that they have taken that same concept of the rabbit jumping from here to there, and okay. the, the, the design of it, it jump all up on the clitoris. Just mechanical jack rabbit for the clit. Some men, they have so much heat and intensity in their penis that you can feel it radiating through their clothes just to touch the penis. It's on fire. It feel like it's fire underneath the skin. So a lot of women start cr going crazy. They actually think because all penises are not created equal and they don't hold the same level of intensity. So if it's one hot like that and he has the energy, he knows how to work his hips, work his buttocks, and really twist her and bend her like she's a pretzel and give her the gratification she needs, she's going to be hooked and think that that's love or a deeper root level. She's become, going to become sexually, mentally, and emotionally attached, although he ain't no good. And this other man she with provides for her, take care of children that ain't even his. That woman will still sneak and get that penis power from him. But what she doesn't realize is we have to deal with our attachments and separate the love, the orgasm, and the penis. They are separate issues. Because if we're in a lower level of it and we hooked on the penis power and this man won't even buy you uh, some shrimp from Long John Silver's and what that plate, what, two ninety nine, dollars But he can give you a, a mouth full of sperm and a rectum full of sperm and, and he won't even give you no light bread. It's like we have to see what our issue is because a man like that doesn't respect a woman yet he'll hit her but if a man is having sex with you and he had the opportunity to be with you or he's an ex so that means he had you before the other man that's providing for you could get to you and all he's offering you is a side of penis when he can sneak in and out your man bed and out your man house that man ain't got no respect for you and he know you don't have none for yourself but because you're so hooked on him and you're hooked on the penis you will sacrifice and sell yourself out to let him come in the back door or let him come at lunch or come in the dark when your re real man that don't have the same penis power is handling all the expenses so a woman thinks she getting over and think oh that's the best sex but she really planned herself and he planned her because it ain't about her it's about his ego and about his penis and his testicles and how many notches he can get up on his belt to brag about you remembers that's
again, I've learned something that I didn't know. And I'm definitely going to be on the watch out. Because I know what's out there that will come at you. And from where you're saying it coming at you with all full force, all this power coming at you, then a girl ain't got a chance. So I'm going to have to stay prayed up. Yeah, we, we have to know who we are. We got to know our role. I got to keep standing in the Lord. I got to ask Jesus to keep me every day. Thank you for watching the Alexis Tyler Show. And we'll see you next time with more of Vagina Power. Peace. <laughs> Want that to go on tonight? That's I'm a crazy clip, watch. but that is an uncomfortable truth. Let's talk about that, right? Okay. Was there any truth to what she said? It was a lot of truth to what she said. Now, just to give some context, this video was like in the 80s, late mm -hmm. 80s. Yes, you know it was. I mean? So is that still applicable today? It is applicable. The problem is, just like she said, they're not in a relationship. Okay. And we know that when you have that level of intimacy with somebody, it creates a soul tie. Mm -hmm. And she said he's screwing that woman into submission. Mm -hmm. And so as a lady, we know that, you know, when we give our body up, we are essentially giving up something spiritual. Well, so. actually, this is this is a pretty interesting segue, right? Isn't that one of the reasons why men don't want women to have a lot of bodies? It's because you're building those emotional soul ties with all these men prior to dealing with them so by the time you deal with that man who may be a great man for you mm -hmm. he may be the exact man of your dream mm -hmm. he will always have to compete against your past experiences mm -hmm. and so if you had a dude that was twisting you like a pretzel and hitting the bottom and doing doing all sorts of crazy tricks and stuff like that mm -hmm. to the point that you have a soul tie with this person how can you ever really fully enjoy and appreciate your now current man uncomfortable true well I, I think for women when you decide to be with someone mm -hmm. you they naturally well they tend to try to get rid of those soul ties and everything so they can fully commit to their man so I'm gonna give women the benefit of the doubt on that end um men that that partner question Y'all got to stop asking that question. That's none of y'all's business. If she tells you, ladies, don't tell. Because Just it's uncomfortable. Don't tell. tell. No, and it's not that. See, women can handle things men can't. See, a man can say, I've been with 500 girls. And then a woman can say, well, I've been with 20. And she's considered a streetwalker. Okay? In comparison, based on just the basic things that he said about our womb and the way we you know pro the way we're programmed when we are intimate right mm -hmm. so i think men just cannot 